Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning. Today we are going to do two Christmas DIYs, one using this little shadow box from the Dollar Tree and this ornament from Dollar General. I paid a dollar for it. That's going to be one project. The second project is going to be a willow wreath. We're, we're gonna use a willow wreath uh, pick from, and this is all from the Dollar Tree, one of the little white deers or reindeers that have the glitter on them. This one doesn't have too many, too much glitter. This buffalo check with snowflake um, ribbon and the burlap. I actually ended up not using it. Um, ink, chalk paint, and of course your trusty glue gun. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I always forget to, um, what is it called? Oh yeah. Um, plug in my glue gun. So once I plug in my glue gun, we're simply going to <laughs> grab the shadow box and we are going to just paint. I'm sorry. We're going to remove the inner part of the shadow box. And if anybody has worked with these shadow boxes, you know, it's very easy to remove them. You just pull them off. These are actually nailed in, but again, it's very easy to pull them off. Um, I'm going to remove the sticker from the back of the shadow box. That is definitely not required for this project because we don't even do anything with the back of this. And then we're going to simply just with my Waverly ink chalk paint, I'm going to paint just the inside. We set the shadow box to one side to let it dry. Again, we just painted the back. That's simple as that. That's all you have to do. Set it aside, let it dry. Now we're gonna move on to the second project and then we'll circle back around to finishing the first project. All right, so you're gonna take one of these willow wreaths from the Dollar Tree and these are the smaller ones. Um, I'm not sure if they're still around right now because I actually bought these earlier in the year, but anyways. Um, and then we're going to take the pick and I didn't like that one lone leaf that was there. So I removed that leaf and here I'm just simply hot gluing the tape back together. Um, I think it's, the, it's called floral tape that was already on it. So when I removed that one leaf, it actually pulled up some of the floral tape. So I am simply going to remove hot glue that so that, um, the rest of the stems stay together so that I don't have to add anything additional to get it to stay together. So once I have that all set, I'm simply going to position the floral pick where I want it on the willow wreath. And that's simply what I'm going to do. I am going to cut off uh, the excess um, stem from the pick. And as you can see at the very bottom, the one garland piece that's on the pick, I have it bent all the way down to the bottom because what I'm going to do once I remove this um, stem, and by the way, it just cracked on its own. So just bend it a few times. You don't need some heavy duty wire cutters. I thought I did, and that's what I ended up going to look for at one point. Um, but honestly, all I did was keep bending it. And then I grabbed my scissors and I cut and it, it cut the it cut it without a problem. So definitely don't need anything heavy duty. Just keep bending it and it will cut off for you. I couldn't find my heavy duty wire cutters, by the way. <laughs> so then I went for the not so heavy duty, but still trusty snippers that I have, wire snippers that I have. Um, and again, I really thought that I was going to have to use these. And then I realized, oh my goodness, it just popped right off on its own when I kept bending it. So there it goes, see? It just cut right off. And then, like I said, I grabbed my scissors just to cut off the excess um, from the floral tape. So now that I have that cut off, 
what I was saying before, which was the little pine that you can see at the very bottom, the pine garland piece, I'm going to use that to wrap it around. And I'm actually going to add a, another half of a pine garland piece that you can pick up. I think you get 12 uh, strips in a bag at the Dollar Tree. Oh, no, wait, I didn't add that. I'm sorry. I ended up not using that because the color was different. So I grabbed the pine piece from another um, pick that I had. It was just like this one so that the colors were exactly identical. Um, so here I'm just hot gluing the pick down in different places where the pick touches the pine. Sorry, where the pick touches the willow wreath my goodness this is just so complicated it seems complicated to explain but honestly simple as can be trust me if you're going to try this diy you will have absolutely no problems i'm just explaining it very poorly <laughs> but if you can see what i'm doing then you can follow along Okay, now on to the next step, which is just hot gluing the deer to the wreath. Um, I removed the bow and I also removed the top part. Um, it was super easy because it's actually um, in there with um, little prongs. So I will say this part, it's, it's a little bit um, time consuming because you have to try to hot glue where the deer touches the willow wreath and hold it there um, so that um, it allows the um, glue to dry. So before we get into that, you will see me struggle as you have in many videos in trying to make a bow. And at the end of it, I didn't even make a bow. I simply just crisscrossed this ribbon and hot glued it around the deer's neck and then dovetailed the ends of the ribbon. I cannot make a ribbon to save my life. I know it's easy. I really, really do, but I struggle. And that's okay. I'm not a ribbon maker. I, it's okay. Anyways, that's what you'll see me do here. And then obviously we'll go into, this is a beautiful ribbon by the way, but I'm only going to use the back part. Love that if you don't want the snowflakes to show, just use the back part of it. And then it's just a buffalo check pattern, red and black, rather than the buffalo check with the white snowflakes. So just a FYI, if you see this ribbon at the Dollar Tree, pick it up because it's kind of sort of reversible. Um, and both sides I think are, are great. So again, once I am done trying to do a bow and then ending up not really doing a bow, but just, you know, hot gluing two strips um, together, <laughs> I'm going to hot glue the deer onto the willow wreath in the opening on the side of the pick that I hot glued previously. So you'll see what I'm doing. Um, and of course, there's not a project that sometimes doesn't go wrong in my DIY arsenal. Uh, I end up adding the burlap ribbon to the top as a hanger, but I added it after I had added the deer. And when I tried to squeeze it through, it unglued the deer. So then I had to reclude the deer. Anyways, you'll see me do all this and undo all this, but it's going to be in fast mode because if not, you're going to be with me for 20 minutes or so. So we're not going to do that to you. Thank you. 
done with this project. I love how this turned out. I absolutely think it is so adorable, so farmhouse, rustic. Um, yeah, I, I love it. Now, just so you know, just a reminder, I did not use the burlap. I used jute twine and you'll see it at the end. All right, let's move back on to the first DIY. So our shadow box backing should be dry. Um, and if it's not like I had to do, just touch it up a little bit because it wasn't fully dry. So you're simply going to take your ornament, remove the jute twine, and you're going to cut a thin strip of the bottom just to make it fit properly. And then I also cut a little bit at the top where the chimney piece is um, just because it was a little higher than uh, the size of the shadow box. This project is literally a few seconds long. All you're going to do is cut off so that it fits and then you're going to add just, uh, there's my Allie. She's our German Shepherd. She loves coming into my craft room whenever I'm taping or not even taping, just doing any kind of crafts. So anyways, yeah, you're just simply going to fit it in there and I put it in upside down so I ended up having to take it out and that's where I scratched the back which is why I'm going to do a quick touch up. Um, don't even need to let this dry really because um, it, the frame is not going to touch it or the ornament is not going to really touch the backing. So anyways, I'm going to make sure I have it right side up, which that's what I just did. And I'm going to add one strip of glue across the bottom of this frame. I'm sorry, I keep saying frame of this ornament. And then I'm simply just going to wedge the ornament into the shadow box. And that's it, folks. It is such a to me, such a rustic farmhouse Christmas decor piece that is totally trendy, in my opinion, right now with the buffalo check, um, with the red and black buffalo check, and then just like the black frame. Absolutely love how it looks. All right, that's it. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and the notification bell so that you're notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks all. Mm -hmm.